just as I was about to start filming, Pepsi jumps up on the bed in her usual style. So we now have Pepsi joining us in this video. It's like they see the camera and they're like, oh, can I be the star of the show? So as it is only a few days to Christmas and a few shopping days left to Christmas and I haven't done my shopping yet, I thought it would be really fun to do a Christmas Eve box um, video. So I first noticed Christmas Eve boxes last year um, and I was working with a brand on Instagram this year and I was sharing Christmas Eve boxes on my Insta stories and a lot of people were like, that's such a great idea. I actually didn't know what a Christmas Eve box is. So I thought it would be really good to actually make a video, show you, talk you through what exactly is a Christmas Eve box, what do you exactly put in a Christmas Eve box. Um, and I just think they're a really fun like tradition to kind of maybe start um, or maybe you already do them. So what the hell is a Christmas Eve box I hear you saying? <laughs> For me, a Christmas Eve box is, it takes me back to being a child where Christmas Eve you got fresh pyjamas, you got like new smelly stuff like you remember you had a bath and it, everything was just cosy, smelled delicious, you got maybe new bed sheets for your bed and you just got really cosy. So a Christmas Eve box, I know some people may use it to give um, a present within it so maybe it's like a present before Christmas but for me I think a Christmas Eve box should be all about putting all them little cosy things that you do Christmas Eve. So I have a couple of things today like I have pyjamas, slippers, all the smelly cosy stuff and then I have other things like puzzles, jigsaws, um, things to kind of distract yourself, a book, a DVD and um, there's loads of little things but here's Pepsi again. Let's just ignore Pepsi. Should have put a little Santa hat on her. Basically, it's anything that you want to put into it or that you know if you're giving it to someone, maybe you're giving it to your child, you may even do one for your mom, your parents, um, whoever you're giving it to, even your best friend. Putting those things in that you know that they're going to love Christmas Eve and that they can use Christmas Eve just to get extra cosy. So I'm going to talk you through what I put into my Christmas Eve box, give you a few ideas. I hope you get a little bit of inspiration. Do let me know if you are going to try um, a Christmas Eve box or what you already put into them. Maybe you already do it. Do let me know in the comments below. So this year I noticed a lot of brands were releasing boxes that actually said Christmas Eve box on them. So I worked with two brands on my Instagram this year and both of them had like branded boxes that said Christmas Eve box um, and they were just really nice touch. Um, I also know a lot of handmade crafters who make personalised Christmas Eve box so you can have like Blondie's Christmas Eve box or Pepsi's Christmas Eve box. But no matter what your budget is, um, you could have a large budget, go to town, get a lovely fancy wooden box. But if you don't have a big budget, because Christmas is quite spendy, um, I worked with Deals and they had one that was 150 um, and it was just a little box, kind of like bigger than a shoe box. And you could style it up and put the goodies into it. So you don't have to spend a fortune. I know Christmas, sometimes things can be a bit gimmicky. And I don't want a Christmas Eve box to be gimmicky. It's basically just just that extra little present. I know when I was a kid I'd be sick with excitement on Christmas Eve. I couldn't sleep and I'd be itching to open a present. So if there was something in a Christmas Eve box that could kind of distract me, I would have loved it. So puzzle jigsaw, but you don't have to spend a fortune. If you have the budget, grand and if you don't you can get stuff in the likes of the pound shops and um, there's been lots of really good budget stuff out this year. Another thing with the box as well you can just get a normal gift box you don't have to get one of the branded ones and um, so like that in a lot of the pound shops gifting shops you can get these really nice just wooden boxes. I actually also have a crate so I have this little general store crate this is 150 from deals so you could use something like this to stack up loads of goodies in and get some of that cellophane wrap, do you know the stuff like florists use, and just wrap it around um, and that can be a cute little Christmas Eve box so you don't have to get an actual box, that's just another little gift box as well. So that's a smaller one, um, so if you're doing like a smaller Christmas Eve box or you can get one of the big giant ones. So the box itself doesn't matter but if you are creative you can go to town with your boxes and get really creative. So what to put into the box, basically it all depends on the person, whether you're making it for yourself, a child, um, a friend, parent, sister, brother, sibling, um, it depends on the person. You put in what you know that they would like. For me, I like all of the cosy stuff. So what I put into mine is I have some slippers, I picked these up in Penny's yesterday, Primark, um, these are 6 euro and they are the Mrs. Potts and Chip slippers. Also, can we just say about slippers, hands up who loves slippers that have a hard sole because I know that's very granny but I don't like soft sole slippers because if you walk outside the back garden you don't want your slippers getting soggy. So these were a win because they had the hard soles. <laughs> I also pop in some, I've got some fluffy socks, 
I've got a little hot water bottle. These are all from Pennies as well. So really cheap, like you don't have to spend a fortune. I've got some knee-high fluffy socks, um, water bottle, and then I have pajamas. Now I don't wear, I don't wear like pajama pajamas if that makes sense. I like something that's more like a nighty. In fact, I don't really wear pajamas, but if you're lounging around, so I got this lovely like shirt. Um, I reckon you probably get away with wearing this outside. So it's just like a long shirt with embroidery on it. I just think it's really cute, like Christmas morning. And they did have gorgeous like check version of this, but they didn't have it in my size. So I got this really cute, um, like a like a shirt. It's like a man's oversized shirt, but has the embroidery on it. So. That is my style of pyjama. I also got these. I do feel a bit awkward uh, sharing my underwear to the internet, but I got these in pennies and they basically say my Christmas pants. Now, I don't really like the style of them. I wouldn't be one for beige underwear, but I got these because it says my Christmas pants. So now you all know what I'm wearing. Christmas day, <laughs> Christmas pants. One of my favorite things to do, not just at Christmas, but in general is run a bath, have loads of smelly new soaps, put fresh sheets on the bed, get into bed all fresh with new pyjamas, you will have the most best sleep. Not even at Christmas, but especially Christmas Eve. If I'm not feeling great, that is what I do. Oh my God, the sleep you get when you have fresh sheets and fresh pyjamas and you've had a bath is amazing. So in my Christmas Eve box, I have some bath bombs and I also got this, oh, oops. I also got this little gingerbread bath bomb. These were both 150 um, from Deals. So again, bargain. Deals in, is Deals in Ireland and in the UK it's Poundland. Don't think they're in the US, but I'm sure you guys have a version of like, maybe it's like Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, Dollar Store. It's the same kind of thing. If you saw my video last week with the handmade soaps, that's what's gone into my Christmas Eve box. So um, I made some lavender and lemongrass soaps last week. Um, it's actually last week's YouTube video. Um, so nice little way to pop these in as a little treat, some little soaps. I've also got a little candle. This is a Christmas candle. There's a thing about smells. When you smell something, it brings you back to a memory. So whether it's like a new perfume, if you're going on holidays or a candle at Christmas, when you smell it again, it takes you back to the memory, which is why I love candles. Um, this is a Katie Loxton uh, Winter Wonderland and it smells, it's not overpowering, so it's nice to put in someone's Christmas Eve box. It basically, it's like cotton and snowberry and soft cotton. So it smells like, do you know when you do like the washing or the laundry in the US, you guys say the washing we call it here. So it smells good. So I have some cute things that you can put into kids Christmas Eve boxes. So I have these little Santa's milk jug and snacks for Santa because like if you don't leave that now, well it's a long night for Santa so you have to leave something out for them. But these are 150 each, um, so won't break the budget. So get a little jug for Santa's milk, and then you can get one of these. And the good thing is like they're ceramic as well, they're not plastic, they're not cheap. Um, so for 150 each, they're really cute for a child's um, Christmas Eve box. So for a child's Christmas, well I suppose you could put this in any Christmas Eve box. It's basically something to do other than kind of watch the telly Christmas Eve. Although it's Christmas Eve, I think if you want to watch the telly and eat sweets, it's Christmas. When else, when, what other time can you do that? <laughs> but I do have a few things pop in. So a good book, um, so whether it's a child, your sister, your mum, um, a good book in your Christmas Eve box. I do actually have a good Christmas DVD. So um, my favourite Christmas movie, I think... If I had to pick one, I watched Love Actually the other night and that really gets me in the feels. Um, I do love the holiday Home Alone. There's actually too many to choose from, but if you know um, a person's favourite Christmas movie, get a DVD and pop it in their Christmas Eve box because nothing more cosy than watching a Christmas movie Christmas Eve. Another thing you can pop into your Christmas Eve box is food. Um, so I got a pot of hot chocolate from Deals. Um, so you could put in like a hot chocolate kit. So maybe pop in hot chocolate, marshmallows and a new cup. This little Christmas cup was 150, and I just have some little chocolates in it. 
So sweets and goodies can also go into your Christmas box. I know mine does. <laughs> you can also pop in things that you'll like use Christmas Day. So whether it's like a jigsaw or a puzzle, because I know Christmas Day in the afternoon, but I'm just, you know, that lull between like dinner and the evening. Um, I think like board games, card games, jigsaws, anything that you can kind of interact. Like you don't want to be sitting on your phone all day Christmas Day. So I love puzzles, jigsaws, anything, games, anything that basically gets you laughing and chatting um, I love them so I hope you guys liked my little Christmas Christmas Eve box video do let me know if you are going to give it a bash um, tag me in your pictures on Instagram I love seeing your kind of loots in your hauls and having to chat on Instagram you can DM me over there I also want to take this time to say a massive Thank you and happy Christmas because this will be my last video before Christmas and um, just with my work schedule I won't have another video up but I will have a video up next week before New Year's um, so next Thursday I will be back with a New Year's video um, but I wanted to wish you all a happy Christmas thank you so much for all the kind comments I read through them all I try and reply to like as many as I can um, I really do appreciate the just genuine support and it's been a great year on YouTube so I just want to say massive thank you I know Christmas is also like a hard time for people so don't feel pressure to have the picture perfect Christmas there's no such thing listen do you on Christmas Day whether it's eating all of the food or getting out and about whatever you do have a lovely festive season and um, I wish you all a happy Christmas I'll see you all in next week's video